Hi, it's Dorian here, and uh, as you can probably tell by my desktop here, this is not Linux, although it sort of kind of is about Linux, but also it's about uh, what I think is uh, the death of Apple, the staleness of the Mac. Um, this is a late 2016 MacBook Pro, and um, it's not really impressive to me anymore. Uh, it works. I mean, I, I understand the thought behind wanting and owning a Mac. It is, you know, it's very nice. Uh, it's sleek it uh, has cool features um, it's a mature product and um, I know that some people think that oh well ever since uh, Steve Jobs left I should say left us um, you know it's it's all gone downhill and I don't know if that's really a valid point um, because the Macs uh, I'm talking about MacBooks mostly the the Mac you know the big all-in-one screen that's a different story um, but you can only do so much I mean they're thin they're lightweight they're sleek and yeah that's all fun um, but for the operating system itself um, I had El Capitan before now that this is uh, Sierra I mean they added Siri and that's cool but um, it's getting old you know I mean I understand people like it it's familiar it's easy to use and yada 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 but I'm finding it slow um, especially compared to my Windows machines, my Linux machines, um, it's just not doing it for me anymore, I guess. Um, and I'm actually considering taking this and um, wiping it and putting Linux on it. And I found something funny, actually. I have here my custom-built lightweight Linux from my other videos running in a virtual machine. And while it could be a bit choppy, um, I also noticed using VLC to record the desktop is uh, a little choppy as well, but it works well. Um, yeah, I'll get back to the App Store after. But anyways, I found something funny that um, running a virtual machine within Mac, my programs running inside almost seem to run faster than uh, on the host and <laughs> that I don't understand so I'm um, even I even more so now want to just wipe the whole machine and put Linux on it and just see how it really flies um, so like you know Google Chrome opens and yada yada but when I open it in the host waiting waiting oh there we go and yes it didn't shut down correctly but that's fine um, yeah it took a while um, and like okay the LibreOffice I have LibreOffice here and I have it here so let's just open it up in Mac and we wait and we wait and there we go now I can finally do something in my virtual machine running in Mac I open it and it opens I mean this doesn't make sense why is it so much faster running virtual Linux or sorry Linux in a virtual machine why is it faster than the host I mean the host should be faster than the guest but there's just 
I don't know, the, the overhead or I don't know. Um, and I know that Mac has these little tricks like, you know, when you, when you close a window, it doesn't really close the application, right? Because Mac treats windows and applications differently. So you can see Chrome has the little dot because it's running. So if I close this, well, it's still running. That way when I click on it again, it's it quickly opens, but uh, it never truly closed. It's actually still running. And a lot of the apps do that. Um, and speaking of apps, uh, the App Store, I was talking, when I was talking about screen recording with VLC, um, I went into the App Store to find some screen recording software and I just can't get over how much junk there is in the App Store. I, uh, I tried to sort by relevance and by, uh, what were the other options? Just customer reviews and whatever. It didn't make a difference. It seems like a random order that they get listed because uh, going by customer ratings, some of the top ones didn't have ratings at all. Some of them had uh, four stars, but you know only six ratings, and others had you know thirty. It just it didn't make sense. And I'm sorry, there's just so much junk in the App Store. I'd rather just go with something I know. So I went to the VLC website, downloaded it, and it's done. Um, but yeah, this really has me baffled as to why. Oh, it messed up my background. Um, why this works like it does? Why? Why is Linux running quicker in a virtual machine? Like I'm running Linux right now in OS X, and it is running faster than OS X does. I mean, that's just I don't get it. Someone enlighten me. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to share that and uh, and also the whole point of uh, Apple's just not innovating anymore. Their MacBooks and their Macs are just getting stale. There's nothing new. Like, I know you can only do so much once you have like a nice little sleek machine. I mean, you can might maybe lose a couple of grams here and there but I mean I, I used a friend's brand new MacBook Air and it was so frustrating for me to open Microsoft Word took a good 10 seconds and I'm like come on but uh, anyways I think uh, the MacBook Pro that I have will be the last um, for many reasons and uh, many reasons, like another one I could just think of right now is there's no number pad on this thing. That drives me insane. Why would you not have a number pad? You know, they, they say that, oh, it's for productivity and getting work done and whatever. Okay, well, if you're a programmer, uh, an accountant, a teacher, a banker, I mean, people use numbers. Um, I'm a programmer and a network administrator. I mean, typing in IP addresses on the numbers at the top of the keyboard all the time, that drives me insane. I can quickly type it on a number pad and then just be done. And yes, I know I can buy an external number pad, but what am I gonna do with that? Am I really gonna carry that extra little thing around with me? No. Um, so yeah, well that turned into a bit of a rant, but um, yeah, I just, I don't get it anymore. Um, retina, retina display, it, yeah, it's fine, but there are nice high resolution monitors on Windows PCs right now. I say Windows PCs, but um, not just, 
you know, thinking strictly Windows, I'm also thinking uh, Linux because you know you buy a PC and throw Linux on it. And uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm just rambling now. I just wanted to show you guys this odd behavior of this really fast guest within Mac. Um, yeah, that's about it. This will uh, definitely be my last Mac. And uh, I gave it a shot. I've been using Windows and uh, Linux for 20 plus years. And uh, I think that's what I'm going to stick to because this just doesn't do it. And uh, while I have Safari open, you know, they talk about, oh, no one's going to use Flash anymore. No one's going to use this and that. So Safari just kind of committed suicide by not supporting things. I, I can't even think of how many websites I go to, news sites and whatnot, that just don't work because it doesn't support this, it doesn't support that, it wants me to install extra stuff or whatever. I'm like, no, I'm just going to install Chrome and be done with it. Safari, Safari can go away. If I could uninstall it, I would. But anyways, so I'm going to uh, stick this MacBook back on the shelf and I'm going to think about installing uh, Linux on it and I think that would be kind of cool and let you know how that goes. Never done it before, but that's it. Anyways, thanks for listening to my rant. Catch you guys later.